Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, here's your boy Zell here, and we are back again with another night at the Laverian. Welcome, I hope you enjoy, I'm going to enjoy, I'm sure I'm going to learn some new stuff. And we have the new Laverian to round us off, the Nezar Warframe, I believe I'm saying that correctly, I'm sure I will find out as I enter. But this is going to be the last one, uh, until they release some others, but uh, hey, I'm all for it, let's, let's get in there and have a look. Welcome to the Laverian. Hello. We are, of course, always open. I know you are. Donations it's... appreciated. Ah, oh, you know what? You've earned a penny. You've earned a penny. There you go. Absolutely. Enjoy. Well, anything helps. Yeah, it does indeed. It does. Okay. She kind of reminds me of someone from League of Legends. I can't put the exact name to it now, but it does. It reminds me of that. You'll know who I'm talking about. Some of you'll know. Nezure. Nezure. The mercurial right. firemonger, the clarion of hope. However foul the decadent excesses of the Orican Empire, the aftermath of its collapse was arguably worse. But the darkest times often give rise to the brightest legends. We've seen that happen often, haven't we? Tales of a being called Nezure predate the Orican Fall. They speak of a swift warrior who leaves trails of fire, summoning barbed spears from the very earth. But it is during a time of unsurpassed brutality, at a moment of wanton slaughter, that this most blazingly improbable of warframes first proves to be more than a myth. Okay. Alright. Ooh. The Tang Dagger. That doesn't even need a skin on it, does it? That looks... That looks awesome. It looks pretty corrupt, but it looks nice. This blade, a tongue of exquisite flame in cold metal. It was unearthed by a poor farmer of Reshantur as he followed his hulking plow beasts across fields he would never own. Another might have bravely kept the dagger, but records suggest he handed it into his overseer on the spot. A half cup of rice, his princely reward. Ah. With no dax to keep the peace, and no parvus granum to hold the corpus board together, bloody land grabs were routine. The fertile fields of Reshantur changed hands many times. With each hostile takeover, slain workers became fertilizer for the next yield of crops. Nice. Tended by the survivors. <laughs> and so it went. This created what you might call a staffing problem. If all the surviving adults are working their fields, then who is left to defend them? Seems like a weird Warframe to defend, but fine. Oh. Children, that's who. This dismal little relic was once part of a... of a Cyandana, shall we say. Though not of Orican make, clearly. No. Its young owner wove this from a fertilizer sack. Aww. There were many such capes found at the site. Enough for an army. Mowers were expensive, you see. Children, they, they were cheap. And plentiful. It made good business sense to arm them. Not the very youngest, of course, <laughs> just the near adults. The still unbroken, those who understood the stakes. The young defenders of Reshantur took their duty seriously. They formed into a little clan, trained every day in the ruins of an old temple, and even made themselves a uniform of sorts, <laughs> part of which you see before you now. But this humble cape was modelled on something even older. The Cyandana of Nezhar himself, displayed here, before you. Okay, there's like a child army that tried to defend the adults? That's, that's cute. I don't know how... if they were just acting. I mean, it says that they properly trained, so I don't know if they took it seriously or not. Uh, however, I, I, out of the two, I'm probably going to go with the left Cyandana, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I like the flame. The flame effect is cool. I imagine you want to add a lot of heat uh, mods onto stuff like this. This chakram 
was found in the ruins of the Reshantur temple, along with fragments of stories scrawled on slates in an immature hand, and oaths of dedication to a figure of legend. It seems the child soldiers of Reshantur took courage from the tales of Nejar, adopting him as patron and protector. Their scratchings evince a firm belief that Nejar would bless them with victory should they fight without fear and abandon them should they ever fear. So they swore they would defend the fields to the last drop of their blood. Clever manipulation. I wonder who put that idea into their heads. At any rate, they accepted it on faith. At least until the massacre of Reshantur. Ah. So imagine the kids tried to fight a day. Hopefully they got saved by Nesha. Improvised this spear, divine spear. modelled on Nesha's own, was found buried in scorched soil. Oh dear. Note the size. Records of the attack are nigh impossible to find. Not surprising. The massacre was almost certainly covered up to protect what the corpus regarded as sensitive business practices. Mm -hmm. Imagine the children, Tenno, wearing their pathetic cyandanas, bearing flimsy weapons, but with heads high as warriors. Think of them rushing at their far superior foes without fear, and imagine what those foes did. To this day, the fields of Reshantur cannot be ploughed. The blades of ploughs are dented and destroyed by an earth that, still, remains thickly seeded with shot and shells and the cold brass teeth of war. But that is not why the event is called the Massacre of Reshantur. The children charged, the corpus took easy aim, not one child's heart fluttered, and then Flame. Okay. So did Nesha kill all of them? Surely not. Surely not. I, I will not believe such a heinous act. The corpus surveyor, Yena Zasperin, says she found a solitary child wearing this helmet in the midst of a charnel field of remains. But they were the remains of corpus troops, some dismembered, some impaled, all burned. Neja did it, the boy said calmly. He flew down from the sky and tore the enemy asunder with wheels of flame. When a child fell, he would raise them up oh, again. Good. Okay, Neja good. moved quick as a scimitar and the earth burned where his feet touched. Now the others had gone with Nejar, part of his celestial army. The boy had stayed behind to tell the story. To Zasperin, the boy was merely traumatized. Yeah, of course he The is. massacre, probably a mutiny within the corpus ranks. But Reshantur has been excavated and every single one of the thousands of blackened bones that were gene-tagged had belonged to an adult. Wow, and then what, he took the children away? Why would he leave his helmet? Well, I guess that's why we rebuilt them, right? Looks a bit like Wukong. Not gonna lie, looks a tiny bit like Wukong. A little bit. And at last we meet Neja face to face in all his unquestionable reality. Did this Warframe model itself on the myths to take on the mantle of a mythic hero, or were the myths left in the Warframe's wake a blazing trail to light the way? Ah, history will always be some manner of educated guesswork, and occasionally one of faith. Perhaps in some deeper stratum, we will find the lost children of Reshantur. Sad little clusters of bones, not saved at all. Maybe. But I have faith we will not. 
I leave you with this. Why do you suppose it was the child soldiers that Nejar chose to protect? Any war has its innocent casualties, but these seem to have called to him. What could a Warframe, a lethal specialist warrior, possibly have in common with a child? That riddle, I fear, must remain a riddle. I don't know, I mean... The funny thing is... The frame itself... Has the kind of... Body resemblance... To a child. Like it's not massively muscular, it looks almost quite thin in places. I don't know, I kind of, I kind of do get childlike relations when I look at this. Um, but also, I, th I think it's quite quite easy, isn't it? I mean, surely Neja admired the fact that they were training in the temple to save... Well, I can imagine only be their parents or other adults. And... Obviously, but it, it was the kids that had, no, because it said that the drawings of Nesha, or the drawings of the weapons and stuff like that was done by an immature hand. So was that by the children who had seen him prior, or was he even being coached by Nesha himself? Or was Neja indeed the child who wrote all those things and it came to pass and this is him now I don't know but these are cool stories man these are cool stories I could read these all day I wish they do release more um, it would be amazing to see them actually do a cinematic trailer for each that would be really really cool I'd love to do something like that myself uh, I just wouldn't know where to start but wow incredible all right Okay, guys, well, I shall leave you with that. Actually, no, we need to have a look at the at the things. We need to have a look at the abilities. Slide 60% faster and go 35% farther. Pretty quick, pretty quick. Blaze a trail of flames, scorching enemies and cleansing allies. Teleporting, blast the landing area with a ring of fire. Nice. Hurl a flaming ring that sets enemies ablaze, making them vulnerable to any damage. Flaming enemies drop restorative orbs on death. Charge to amp charge to amplify the power of the ring and reactivate to instantly travel to the ring's location. Uh, create a protective ring of fire that also stuns and damages enemies who get too close. Nice. Nice. Impale nearby enemies on spears that will erupt from below. Activate it again to slam, surviving enemies back into the ground. Oof. See, it would be pretty cool if it actually, like, fused them into it. That would be awesome. I know that can't be a thing, but that would be super cool. Okay, well guys, that was the last of the Lavarians for now. I hope you have enjoyed. Why is that floating? That should not be floating. I'll fix that. Anyway, hope you have enjoyed the video. Um, do leave a comment. I'd love to read your comments as to what your theory is uh, as to why he chose to come and protect the children. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious to me anyway, but maybe not. Maybe not. I'd love to hear your theories on it. Let me know in the comments. Um, if you do want to subscribe, do feel free. We are nearing a thousand subscribers on this channel, uh, and thanks to every single one of you. Um, but yeah, let me know what I should react to next. If anything, uh, it could be another YouTuber's video. It could be anything you want. Just let me know in the comments, and I'm sure I will see you there. But thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.